Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. I'm Hashim Ali Khan. So now this is the second video on unit number five. In the last video, I have explained you about the contents, the introduction to MIS reports. What is a trial balance? What is cash flow statement? These topics I have covered up in the last video. Now in this video, four questions I'm going to explain you which are frequently asked in examination. The first question regarding what is bill of exchange and list out its uses. What are the uses of bills of exchange? Secondly, what is sales register? What is purchase register? And what are the steps to generate trial balance in tally ERP 9? So these four questions I'm going to explain you in detail. So watch the video till the end. Before start explaining, Take a screenshot of the points which I have written on the board. Then I'll explain each and every point in detail. The first question is what is a bill of exchange and what are its uses? According to section 5 of Negotiable Instrument Act, a bill of exchange is an instrument in writing. Instrument means document. It's a written document. It's not oral. So bill of exchange is an instrument in writing containing an unconditional order. In this instrument, an unconditional order should be given and signed by the maker directing a certain person to pay a certain sum of money only to or to the order of a certain person or to the bearer of the instrument. This is a specific definition, clear definition given by Negotiable Instrument Act regarding what is bill of exchange. So what are the uh, I mean, ingredients of this definition? First, it's an instrument. Instrument means it's a document. Secondly, it must be in writing. An oral bill of exchange will not exist. It must be in writing. So containing an unconditional order. It's not a request. In bill of exchange, bills receivable, it is not a request. It is an order. Unconditional order. No condition should be attached. Unconditional order signed by the maker without signing it is invalid signed by the maker directing a certain person thus bill of exchange will direct a certain person to pay a certain sum of money what he is directing he is directing to the other person to pay a certain sum of money only to or to the order of a certain person that means a is directing b that B should pay the amount to C. Example, C. So C is called the pay. So A is directing B that certain amount should be paid on a certain date to C or to the order of a person or to the order of C. That means the amount B can pay either to C or to the order of C. If C orders that amount should be paid to D, then B should pay it to 2D. And uh, in order to pay certain someone or to the bearer of the instrument. Suppose if it is given that the instrument should be paid to the bearer. So whoever brings the bill, it should be paid. So these are the ingredients of the definition of bill of exchange given by Section 5 of the Indian Negotiable Instrument Act. Now the person who draws the bill is called the drawer. And for him, it is bill receivable. Example, A draws a bill on B. B accepts the bill, put his signature stamp and return the bill back to A. For example, I am A, you are B. I have drawn a bill of exchange on you and you have accepted that bill. Put your signature stamp and return the bill back to me. So I am the drawer. It's a bill receivable for me. It is an asset for me. It is an asset. So when you have accepted the bill, you will be called a drawee and it will be bills payable. 
so for you it is bills payable for me it is bills receivable bills receivable is an asset for me and bills payable is a liability for you that's it so the person who accepts the bill is called drawee and for him it is bills payable so bills receivable is an asset and bills payable is a liability that is a brief explanation for bill of exchange now list out the uses of bill of exchange after receiving this bills receivable what is the use what i can do with this bill so there are four uses of the bill by the drawer i am the drawer i have drawn a bill on you you have accepted and returned the bill back to me now there are four options available to the drawer what he can do with the bill the first the drawer can hold the bill till maturity date and receive the amount from the drawee on the due date <coughs> example the duration of the bill is 3 months so already it is specified in the bill that bill will become due after 3 month so i am the drawer i can hold the bill for 3 months on the due date on the expiry of the date i can present the bill to the drawee and drawee has to make the payment on the bill that is the first thing i can do first use second use is the drawer can hold the bill and the holder of the bill can discount with his banker suppose i am in need of money the duration of the bill is 3 months i have to hold the bill for 3 months at the end of 3 months only i can present the bill to the drawee but i am in need of money right now so what i can do is i can sell away the bill to a banker that is called discounting of bill with a banker i can go to the bank and uh, tell that this is the bill the due date is after 3 month i need immediate money the banker will deduct some discount and remaining amount will be paid example the value of the bill is 1 lakh i approach the banker banker will say 5% discount will be deducted so 1 lakh 5% 5000 5000 rupees will be deducted so 1 lakh minus 5000 95000 immediately banker will pay to me and the, i have to hand over the bill to the banker now the holder of the bill is banker on due date the banker will approach b the drawee and take the money from b this is called discounting of bills third one is he can send the bill to his banker for collection he is not keeping the bill with himself he is sending the bill to the banker for collection instructions are given to the banker that after 3 month collect the amount of this bill and credit in my bank account so these instructions i am giving giving to the banker that means the banker will act as an agent on behalf of me the banker is collecting the money and depositing in my bank account this is called bill sent to bank for collection last one he can endorse the bill to his creditor suppose i am the drawer i have drawn a bill on b b has accepted the bill and returned the bill back to a now a i am the drawer i am having the bill suppose i have purchased the goods from mr c i have to make the payment but i don't have cash i can endorse that bill in favor of c now c will become holder of the bill i have sold i have given i have transferred negotiated the bill in favor of c now on due date c will present the bill to b and b has to make the payment to c this means i have endorsed my bill to my creditor c these are the four cases the holder of the bill can do that is the uses of bill of exchange first question completed now i am coming to the second question very frequently asked in examination what is sales register it is called sales journal normally we call it as sales journal but in tally erp9 it will be called sales register so what is sales register it shows the summary of sale transactions and closing balances on monthly basis so sales register shows the details of sales conducted the details of sales conducted and monthly total the total on monthly basis it will be disclosed so by selecting a particular month if we select a particular month its detail and list of transaction relating to that month 
can be displayed with the help of tally ERP line. Normally, a business concern wants the details of all the sales made during a particular period of time, during a month. So tally ERP 9 is having a feature called sales register. By clicking the sales register, we can be able to get all the details of sales made during a particular period, that is month. Now, we can alter the display as per the data required. The sales register will have different options available. We can configure the sales register and take the data whatever we require in the sales register. User can also alter the duration of the report and the content details. Whatever is the requirement, we want the different period. Some business wants the details every 15 days. Some businesses wants the sales detail every month, every two months. So accordingly, we can configure. Similarly, what are the details we require regarding sales? That also we can alter, we can configure. Now, the uses of sales register are as follows. What are the uses? Why the sales register can be used? Number of uses. First one. Errors can be identified easily by reviewing, by display of the sales register. If there are any errors, we can easily identify the errors. Secondly, with the help of F2 button, periodic turnover can be evaluated. So F2 button can be pressed to get periodical evaluation of sales. Next one, computation of periodic taxes. The taxes periodic can be computed on the basis of this turnover. Then sales return which are made during the year can be evaluated. With the help of the sales register, we can evaluate the sales return source. So these are the users, advantages of sales register. The next third question is regarding purchase register. Now what, are, what is purchase register? What are the benefits? I am going to explain. Purchase register shows the information relating to purchase of business, just like sales register. Sales register will show the details of sales during a particular period. Similarly, the detail of purchases during a particular period can be, show, can be shown by the purchase register. It helps in determining the details of transfer of purchase goods to different go-downs based on which the stock movement is determined at each go-down. Purchases are made and the goods are transported to different go-downs. So we can be able to know the details of movement of goods to different go-downs by using this purchase register. The following are the steps to view the display of purchase register. How the purchase register can be displayed in Tally ERP 9. The first step, go to gateway of Tally, open the Tally package, select the display. Select option is select the display and click the account books. So under display, select the account books, select the purchase register. That's it. The purchase register will be displayed on the screen. Now configuration can be made to purchase register through control plus F12 button. Now we can configure according to our requirement, we can configure the data in purchase register by pressing control plus F12. The following information can be view, viewed. So what are the information we can view from purchase register? We can get actual quantity, bill the quantity, date, bill name, cost center, cost category, voucher number, narration, stock item, go down name. All these are the data we, which we can be able to get by displaying purchase register. That's it. So three questions have completed. That is bill of exchange. What is bill of exchange? What is sales register? What is purchase register? Now the last question in this video is regarding steps to generate trial balance in tally ERP 9. How to display, how to view the trial balance in tally ERP. So steps. A trial balance is a summary of all ledger balances. Just now in the previous video, I've explained you in detail regarding what is trial, what is trial balance. Trial balance is a statement which lists down all the ledger balances. The trial balance will have two columns, debit column and credit column. All debit balances will be taken in debit column. All credit balances will be taken in credit column. If there are no errors, the total of the trial balance will tally, will be equal. Now, in order to generate trial balance, first we need to create all the necessary ledger accounts. Without opening the ledger accounts, we cannot make the trial balance. 
तो फर्स्ट थिंग वी हैव टू ओपन ऑल द लेडजर अकाउंट्स विद द नेसेसरी डिटेल्स आफ्टर मेकिंग द लेडजर अकाउंट्स देन ओनली यू कैन बी एबल टू जनरेट द टॉल बैलेंस तो हाउ टू ओपन द लेडजर अकाउंट्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी सी द स्टेप्स टू क्रिएट लेडजर अकाउंट एंड देन डिस्प्ले टॉल बैलेंस आर एज फॉलोस फर्स्ट वी विल क्रिएट द लेडजर अकाउंट्स एंटर द डाटा एंड देन ओनली वी कैन बी एबल टू डिस्प्ले द टॉल बैलेंस तो स्टेप 1 गो टू गेटवे ऑफ टैली second click the select uh, click on select company we have to select the company select the any company which you have already created third step fourth step click on accounts info after selecting the company click on accounts info under account info click on ledgers under ledgers click create click create under single ledgers then fill in the necessary information and press enter this uh, like this prepare all the ledger accounts one ledger account how to make i have given the steps steps 1 to 7 by using the step 1 to 7 you are creating ledger account and putting all information like this you create many any number of ledger accounts after creating so many ledger accounts putting all the data then you want to display the trial balance step 8 go back to gateway of tally after creating all the accounts after giving all information again go back to gateway of tally then click on display now you want to display the trial balance so click on display now click on trial balance after display click on trial balance the trial balance will be displayed on the screen that's all so this is the procedure of i mean display of trial balance in tally erp9 so in this video i have explained you four topics first topic what is bill of exchange what are the uses secondly what is sales register then what are the importance of sales register what are the uses purchase register how to display the purchase register lastly how to generate the trial balance in tally erp9 <coughs> so if you are satisfied with my lecture give a like to the video give your comments specifying where are you from from which university inshallah we'll continue the next video in the on the next topic in this unit number 5